Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna do a really quick tutorial. It's actually four tutorials in one. Uh, these four questions that you see listed here on the screen, I'm gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna try to do it in under 10 minutes. So let's just get started. The first one is adding a weapon to High Templar. To do that, we go to High Templar. I've already added some units to the map here and so on. I won't show you that stuff. I'll just go over how to do this. To add a weapon, we need to do two things. First of all, you need to add the attack ability. So go to abilities and add a new ability. Attack here. If your list on the right looks different than mine, that's because you might have the different view here. You can change the view here on the orange button. So I prefer this view. It's a matter of preference. Anyway, after you add the attack ability, all you need to do is find weapons here and then add the weapon. So let's just add the Terminal Lance, for instance, the Colossus weapon. You don't need to set the turret. Okay, and that's it. Let's go to the next one. Um, next one, removing requirement from upgrades. So I'm going to go to Engineering Bay, as that was the thing requested. I go to the Abilities here, the Upgrade Ability. Find it. So I'm going to do the infantry armor. First thing I'm going to go do is go in here to the level 1 and I'm going to set the time to 1 second. And then go into the level 2. Set the time to 1 second. And here you can see the requirement is learn Terran infantry armor 2. You could just press this X here if you want to remove all requirements. However, we want this only to... Um, we only want to remove the requirement for armory. We don't want to remove the requirement to, that you need to have the um, upgrade level one before you can research level two. So we go to requirements. Type Terran here. We scroll down and we find Terran infantry armor level two. Double click here. And you will see this little thing here. It's a basic if statement, just like the trigger editor. And here you can see unit armory completed. Remove. Okay. Level 3. Same thing. Unit armory completed. Remove. Okay. And there we go. Requirements have been removed from the armor. And uh, they also, the next one should be um, remove requirements from skill, in particular High Templar. So we're going to go back to unit, High Templar. And we're going to find here in the list, Abilities, Size Storm. Alright, we go into the commands. Click this first one. Requirement, use Size Storm here. Just click the X. There's actually a lot of stuff listed here, it's just a bit buggy. If you click the X here, so you remove it. Requirements none, okay. Now you don't need to research Size Storm to use it. Just remove it on the ability. Alright, let's keep on going. Adding shield to the marine. So I'm going to go find marine. And adding this includes upgrades. So I'm going to just type shield here in the search box. And shield armor, don't need shield maximum. Let's set that to 50. Starting amount 50. Region delay 1. Whatever. Region rate 10. Armor name. Here you will see there's a bug. You don't get this, so what you want to do is you want to go to a Trollus unit, so High Templar for instance. And you want to write down this thing here. The unit shield armor name Rotos plus my shields. You can't just copy it here. It doesn't work to copy from this thing. So you have to write it down and you go back to your marine. If you want to use a different string, you have to create the string yourself. Somewhere else, just paste it in there and you get Protoss Plasma Shield. Alright, so now we have to add um, the forge. So we go to here, we go to upgrades. And we have to add so that uh, the marine gets levels when you actually upgrade. We go to upgrades, we find shields. Uh, the first thing we do is we go into effects. You'll see there are two effects for each Protoss unit here, so we're just going to do the same for 
Maureen. First we're gonna go actor. Then we select our actor, which is Maureen. Shield armor icon. When it upgrades to level one, this is level one, we want to show the level one icon. Okay. Set level one icon, that's fine. We add another one. Unit. Find Marine. Shield armor. Add one. And then finally, once again, unit. Marine. This one is not needed, but it's just a UI display thing. Shield armor level. Add one. Okay. Uh, you can also go here, affected units array, and add, and then marine. Okay. And there we're done. I'm now going to go into the map editor, and we will see that all these things, or into the game, and we'll see that all these things have been updated. Alright, so here we are in game. We'll see that High Templar, Sonic Storm, does not require any requirement. I don't have the energy to use it, but it's there. The High Templar now has a Turbo Lance, and it can attack. Engineering Bay, if we upgrade here, you'll see that level 2 can also be upgraded without an armory, and even level 3 as I remove that. The Marine has a shield, armor 0 right now, and the icon is a basic icon, it says 0 here. We upgrade once. And the Marine has now level 1 shield, and it shows the little 1 on the shield image and everything. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. A really quick one, uh, based on the request from the SC2 Master request thread. So if you have any more tutorials you would like me to make, anything at all, just post it on SC2 Master in the request thread. That's all.